McElroy here coming to you live from my living room. So today guys, we're going to talk about comparing decimals and we're going to review some of the things that we worked on last week. Let me grab a marker. All right. So when you are comparing decimals, the first step is to look at the whole number. So if we're comparing this decimal to this decimal, our whole number would be right here. In this case, they're both a zero. So it's a tie. So first I look at the whole number. If it's a tie, I move on to the tenths place. So we have a three in the tenths place for that number and a zero in the tenths place for that number. Three is bigger than zero, so I know that three tenths is greater than three hundredths, okay? So when you're comparing them, you're going to go by place value. All right, let's do another one. All right, guys, now we're going to look at these two numbers. We're going to look at 0 0.7 and 0 0.63. The way we would read those numbers would be 7 tenths and 63 hundredths. All right. So first, we're going to look at the whole number, just like we did in our first example. So if I start with my whole number, I have a zero and a zero. It's a tie. So we're going to move on to the tenths place. We have a seven and a six. I know seven is bigger than six. So seven tenths is greater than 63 hundredths. Remember, you always want to have the mouth facing the bigger one. I like to think of it as a piranha, and he's going to eat the bigger decimal. There's your piranha. All right, we're going to look at a third example. Problem, I have my teaching assistant, Bradley. Say hi. Okay, we're comparing six hundredths to six tenths. I see a lot of zeros and sixes in this one. So we're going to still start with the whole number. So, zero, zero. They're the same. So it's a tie. So we move on to the tenths place. We have a zero and a six. Well, six is greater than zero, so I'm done. This number, six tenths, is greater than six hundredths. Huh. So think of it like your prana. He's going to eat the bigger one. There we go. Okay? You can also think of it like money. Six tenths would be like 60 cents. Six hundredths is like six pennies. Six cents. So 60 cents is more than six cents. So this would still be greater. So always think of it by place value. Start with the whole number. Then compare the tenths. Then compare your hundredths. I can't remember if there's a D there or not. That looks weird. But anyway, you're just going to start on the left and keep going by place value. 
until you see which is greater. Anything you want to add, mister? Okay. Email me with any questions.